Soul in black, soul in black. So, oh no, wait a minute. Remember when I used to have to had a microphone? Remember I used to use a mic? You probably don't remember those days. Not even plugged up anymore. I just started using the one on the laptop. I just talk freely. Don't even have to worry about it. Soul in black. This is why. Hold on. Let's see. Gotta make it perfect for you, Soul in Black. You don't understand it unless it's perfect. Now, I wasted a minute right now just bullshitting. So let me go ahead and get to the point. Soul in Black, I have what you might call a family curse. It's the curse of wisdom and knowledge and not to have the power to use the wisdom and knowledge for myself. I have literally given people millions of dollars in ideas and all they say is, you think too much. You don't never, you, you don't never try to do none of these ideas you got. You have a million ideas and you never do them. It's the family curse, man. I got cursed with the gift of speech. And I'm cursed with the gift of thought. And I'm cursed with the gift of sight. I see shit differently than other people. I truly do see shit differently. And I've been like that all my life. I've always tried to help people even knowing it would hurt me. That's stupid. Why would somebody do something as dumb as that? It's built into me. I always help people. And right now, I'm going to give you a million dollars. There's a lot of other people out there probably watch this video. And not until the end of this video will you even understand it. I will give you a million dollars right now. I want you to take a camera. Not one this big. I want you to get one of those webcams. Preferably one of those little rip-roar cams. You know, creation station cameras. Get one of them. See if you can get like a, a telescoping stick, a stick that you can stretch out. Try to build it so you can connect the camera to the end of the stick, right? And if you're smart, you might be able to try to build some kind of swivel thing so the camera will swivel up and down. I want you to be able to be able to telescope this camera out as far as you can, Soul in Black. You put the little uh, USB cable on it. And make sure the cable stretch, you get the USB cable uh, adapter or, or um, you know, or extender. And you put it on there so maybe, you know, it'll extend all the way down and maybe it'll go into your laptop. Right. Now you build this camera, right? So that way when, when people are interviewing people, you know how they always run up with a microphone and have a microphone in somebody's face? You could stand back over the top of the crowd. Lean the camera with a microphone over. At the right angle, with the little swivel novel knob, knob that you put on there for the finger adjustment, you can lift the camera up and go up and down like that. You get the right angle with the microphone and the Creation Station camera should be able to pick up anything. It's crystal clear. And we can call this the interview camera made by Solar Black. These people run up. Nobody has a camera in there. They always got a microphone. If you had a little handheld boom cam, you'd be the first to make this. You'd be worth millions. Now, I just gave you a million dollar idea. Why don't you go make it work and make sure I'm not hungry? That's the same thing I give to every single person that knows me. I will give you a billion dollars worth of ideas. And I tell you, None of these ideas I'll give you a work unless you make sure I'm never hungry. I once had this one idea, and I was telling this one guy, if I can get a hold of Bill Gates or the Rockefellers or somebody, this would be the greatest invention that hit me. Every American would have this thing I have in my head. And I sat there and I told the guy how it would work, where it would go, how to build it. Guys, I could just take your idea and 
It'll be gone forever, dude. You never see me. I'm like, it'll never work for you. Because you wouldn't make sure I was never hungry. That's why I always help people first. If I help somebody else first, one day it's going to come back and I don't have to worry about nothing. Or people just take my idea and fuck me over. So when I sat there and I said, and I repeat, if we get as many people physically possible together and find one person to send a dollar to, and send that person a dollar. Then I went on to say, why don't we make it four dollars, a dollar a week. We send a dollar a week to a different person. And you have the audacity to say, you guys had plenty of time to work your idea. How come you haven't done it? Nobody's tried to implement the idea. It was thrown out there for you to do it. The idea was thrown out there for somebody else to pick it up and run with it. That's what I do. I give. Even when I don't have nothing myself. I can sit here and think of a billion ways to fix our economy. And get on the internet and tell everybody each day a different way of how to fix our economy. It's not until somebody like you picks up that ball and makes the next person run with it. And then that person will make the next person run with it. And then that person will make the next person run with it. And then the next thing you know, somebody's standing up getting credit for something I did. Something I said. A thought that came out of my mind. And that's the family curse. Either I benefit from it or it'll kill me in the end. Any way you put it, baby. I can't benefit from the ideas in my mind until someone says, I'll make sure you ain't never have to worry about nothing again for the rest of your life. Then the box will open up and the world will have a vision it'll never have. And you think I'm just talking as if I'm the greatest shit to ever hit happen to the planet? There's a billion people out there like me who think just like I do, who have all these grandiose ideas to better everything. And it's people like you that look us right in the eyes and say, you got all these damn ideas, you don't know shit. You need to make these ideas work or else you ain't shit. judgment tell me an idea won't work you ain't willing to help fund it you ain't willing to tell somebody who you know can help make it work there's a million people out there like that too that won't say nothing about nothing but quick to say something won't work it may not work for me, but it's there for you to make work for everybody else. I will give you a million dollars as long as you don't make sure I'm ever hungry. I will take care of you and your entire family if you make sure I never need. I'm like a genie, but without the magical powers. But I can tell you how to fix it. Don't be mad at me because I can't fix it. That's why I'm telling you how to do it. Because it won't work for me. Because that's part of our family curse. All this wisdom and knowledge. And I can't use it for myself. But I can give it to somebody else and they can benefit from it. As long as I'm never hungry. You've been too.